All right, I want all of you to tell me something. How many times have you wanted to make corrections to an original PDF file? How many times did you want to edit a scanned original? Or how many times did you want to merge different images or PDF documents to one so you can just have one file instead of 300? Or just how many times did you want to cut down the size of a PDF file? Or how many times have you wanted to add a custom stamp to your PDF documents? But all these things are like impossible to do. It's just so hard to find an application on the Mac that allow you to do all these things. Well, today guys, I have found the application. I am looking at it right now, and man oh man, this is the bomb. It can do anything. Let's get a closer look, shall we? All right, let's go ahead and launch PDF Pen right now. And as soon as you do, it will ask you to open or find some documents that you want to open up in PDF Pen. And what I like about this application is it can open up more than just PNGs or JPEGs or TIFF files. It can actually open up PSD files also, also known as Photoshop documents. So here I have a Photoshop document and I have some all the way down here. This is about, say, 15, 20 files and documents, but I'm going to open all of them right now. Once you hit open, all of those files are going to open up in their own separate window. Of course, you can change that in the preferences of PDF Pen. And look at this. I've opened up quite a few documents right here. As you can see in my expose, you know, I've, I've actually opened up a Word document also, as you can see skills.docx and those little things that I mentioned earlier in the video you can do with PDF Pen as you can see right here in the top you have the toolbar and this is where you can navigate to all of PDF Pen's main tools so I'm just gonna go through one example of what PDF Pen can do I want to combine all of these images or a few of these images into one PDF document how do I do that it's actually very very simple all you have to do is open all those images up into one document or in this case you can just drag this thumbnail to this thumbnail, go into this document, find all those images that you want to use, and drag them into the document you want to save as one PDF. I'm just going to get this here too. So I want to save these three images into one PDF document. How do I do that? Very, very simple. A file, save as. Then what you can do is you can change the title of the file, you can change the destination, you can also pick a format, or you can add a filter, a quartz filter. Very nice feature that you don't get in a lot of Mac applications. And one more thing that I love about this, you can secure the document with a password. Amazing, amazing feature right there. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Or no, I didn't save it on my desktop, did I? Let's do it one more time. Save as, we'll hit Command D for desktop, uh, name that Apple, save it, go back over here to my desktop. And as you can see, the PDF is right here. I'll open that up in preview. Give it a sec, and these, those three images are combined all into one PDF. And guys, that's just one example of what PDF Pen can do. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, PDF Pen can come in very handy when you're doing work in school or in your office. Thank you very much for watching. Again, this has been MacBoy from MacBoy Productions. And as always, over there to the right of this video in the description, you will find my Twitter, my blog, and my business email where you can contact me for any questions, concerns, comments, or suggestions. One more thing, if you guys like my wallpaper, I'll put a link for that in the description also. And I almost forgot to mention, the link to PDF Pen's website is there too. Thanks for watching, I'll see y'all next time.